Welcome to the Mixasaurus navigation tutorial. Just a quick rundown of these controls on the right. We have eight buttons and six of them take us to um, the controls pages of these sections. We have levels, dynamics, delay, envelope, filter and distortion controls. On the top right corner we always have the on off button of uh, the section that we're currently looking at. Right now it's distortion so it says distortion on off if we change it to the levels section then it will read levels on off. It's a quite useful uh, control this on off con button to uh, compare your sound to the original sound. If uh, you make changes here and you uh, deactivate this control then this uh, these knob settings uh, are not applied. The controls are inactive that's why they are in invisible and you will hear the unaltered the originally recorded sound. Uh, good to compare. At the bottom you can see there's a little label, it's uh, yeah, called the information label. Uh, whenever you touch a control it will tell you what this control does. And um, if this is not enough information for you, then um, you would go to the help menu, which is here at the bottom. And there's a feature called help. And if you click it then these buttons here disappear and they are replaced by a window carrying a more lengthy um, explanation. Yeah, You can scroll down here whenever you touch a control then um, the explanation of this specific control will appear there. Okay, And at the very bottom of each explanation you will find the information regarding the automatability of this control. Uh, you will then be able to see if this knob is automatable by host automation and MIDI control changes or by MIDI control change messages only. This back button takes you back and yeah, that's about it. This help menu has uh, a few other uh, yeah, items which are pretty easy to understand. Enable all sections, disable all sections, randomizing all parameters or resetting all parameters. That's it for the navigation.